down to high school hoops across the street from KCU 9 News. Storm Lake St. Mary's hitting the road to Siouxland Christian. A battle between two boys teams who are each 1-4 and four in their last five games, but have a chance to flip their scripts tonight. The two's first meeting on the year, Twin Lakes versus Western Valley Conferences. First quarter, Panthers ahead early. John Heitman trying his luck behind the arc. He is money. Panthers move up four. Sulan Christian found a revival soon after, though. A.J. Gauch, three off the mark. Nolan Porter on cleanup duty, though, with the board and the bucket. Game high, 18 from him. Sulan cutting into the deficit. Second quarter now. Eagles found themselves as down as much as nine. Elijah Clay stops the bleeding, though, with a J. Eagles would go off for a 5 to nothing run to follow. Panthers, though, went back on the prowl shortly after. Toby Jones dishing it to Mason Laven, rising for the turnaround jumper. You know he ain't missing that one. Laven led the Panthers with 29 points in this one as they win it 63-53, the final. Jumping back in time to the girls matchup, Storm Lake St. Mary sitting at second in the Twin Lakes behind Newell Fonda. Fourth quarter, Panthers up huge 61-17, giving a chance for some underclassmen to get some minutes. And freshman Autumn Porter makes it count with a feathery touch off the glass for two. Later, Eagles showing off the tight perimeter defense with Vicki Bayer sending it right back in the Panthers' face for the swat. Sulan Christian kept it rolling. The inbound to Lindsey Welch for the triple, and boom goes the dynamite. Storm Lake St. Mary's wouldn't score a bucket the entire quarter, but wouldn't really matter as they get part one of the sweep, 61-23, the final.